So, today, let's start with our adventure to explore the concepts of this fantastic poem, Run. As stated in our introductory video, we shall be implementing the zero investment innovative idea of concept explanation to build the concepts of action words and opposite words. This will be done through a hands-on activity. And what exactly is that? Let's have a look at it. To begin with, inform the students that today we will be playing a game. Ask the students to stand next to their seats. Mention that the game which we are going to play is called the opposite game. As it is with any other game, let's start by outlining the rules of this game as well. Tell the students that they will have to do the opposite of the action which the educator does. Further inform the students that whoever imitates the exact action as that of the educator will be eliminated from participating in the game any further. State that the game will be continued until there are top 5 winners. Start the game by performing actions one by one. For instance, carry out the action of sitting on the floor. To this, the students will actually have to do the opposite. That is, they will have to remain standing. Now, we will enact the action of crying. The students will have to enact the opposite action, which would be laughing. Then, we will pretend to look upwards. To this, the students will have to look downwards. More examples of such actions could be running on the spot or stretching out the left hand. To this, the students will have to enact the exact opposite action such as standing still at one place and stretching out the right hand respectively. Continue with this activity until the point where there are five final winners. Conclude the activity once we identify these five winners and then ask the students to settle down on their seats. Following this, have a discussion with the students to reflect upon the activity. Begin by asking, what actions did I do? Accept all the responses given by the students. Follow their responses by another question such as, what actions did you do? Let the students give their responses. Now, make a table on the board and note down the discussed action words and their opposites in a format like this. With this, we've built and explained the concepts of opposite words and action words to our students. In our next session, we will learn how to explain the concepts of similar sounding words and vocabulary through a hands-on activity. Stay tuned for that!